Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another word problem dealing with trigonometry. So two guy wires are attached to the top of a nine meter pole on opposite sides of it. They make angles with the ground of 60 degrees and 50 degrees respectively. How long is each wire? So like usual, let's try to draw a diagram of what's happening here. So let's say this is the ground. This is the pole over here. So this pole is what, nine meters? Uh, and so what's happening is that we have two guy wires that are attached on opposite sides like this. And we're told that one of the guy wires has an angle relative to the ground of 60 degrees. So we'll say that's this one. And then the other one has an angle relative to the ground of 50 degrees, which would be this one. And they're asking how long is each wire? Well, notice that both of these make a 90 degree angle right here. And they're asking for this guy wire length. So we could label that as X. And then they're asking for this guy wire length, which we could label as Y. And so notice we're actually just dealing with two separate triangles here. So if I draw this triangle, we got 60 degrees, we got nine, and then we have X like that. And then we're dealing with another triangle like this. We got Y, this is 50 degrees. Uh, and then this is nine as well, right? This side here, this pole is common for both triangles. And so we just have to solve for X and Y. Uh, both of these that look like 500. So that's 50 degrees like that. Okay, so fairly simple question. Now, relative, if we use this angle as the reference, notice that the nine, which side is that? That's the opposite. The X is what? The hypotenuse. And so we're dealing with an opposite and a hypotenuse, which would imply that we're dealing with the sine ratio. So we would have sine of 60 equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it'd be nine over X. And then same thing here, this 50, this is the opposite side to the 50 degrees. And this here is the hypotenuse, the Y value, which is always opposite to the 90 degree angle. And so we could say sine of 50 is equal to what? Nine over Y, like that. And so we just have two equations. We have to solve for the X and the Y. So we can cross multiply nine times one is nine. Then we'll have X times sine 60 then we could divide both sides by sine 60 in order to get the X value by itself. And then same thing here, one times nine is nine. Then we'll have Y times sine 50, divide both sides by sine 50 in order to get that Y value by itself. And so you just have to do those two calculation. And when you do those calculations, you'd get 10.4 for X and 11.75 for Y. And so those are the two final answers. Those are the lengths of the wires.